Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is BNHA Second Generation Chapter 35, and this one is titled The Time Before the Interview. The hero's daily office was only a short walk from Hyoko's agency building, and they made it there in good time. One of the many perks of living in a very cramped city, everything's close. Condor, Seismic Kana, the manager for that day, greeted the two pro heroes as they entered the building. Please come in. We're very excited for this interview today. Thank you, Hyoko said with a smile. We're happy to share our story too. He looked at his boyfriend beside him, relaying the conversation through the white feathers pressed to Kana's shoulder. Thank you for having us, Kana signed to the manager and bowed. Kana says thank you, Hyoko translated to the well-dressed manager who beamed in return. One of our talented makeup staff here is hearing impaired and she has been positively dying to meet Seismic Kana. She's been a fan of his for a very long time, the manager said, turning and beckoning for the pair to follow him. I'm excited to see her reaction then, Hyoko said. It's always heartwarming to see Kana interact with people who can sign. They walked out the back to where the makeup and hair would be done for their interview, and the minute the two handsome heroes walked into the room, there was a muffled meltdown among the women and men alike. Some screamed into their mouths, or just flapped their arms as they walked off to hide so they could compose themselves before coming to speak to the well-known duo. Condor, a young makeup artist, greeted the winged hero. Hi, oh my god, I'm so much a fan. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise, Yoko greeted politely. Um, okay, so I'm your makeup artist for today. Would you mind having a seat here so I can touch you up a little for the cameras? She said, then realising how her sentence sounded, tried to fix it. Um, sorry, that sounded weird. I meant touch your face up. I meant like fix. No, sorry, not fix because you're already perfect. Ah, uh, I know you're already with Seismic Kana. I'm not trying to. It's okay. It's okay. Hiyako chuckled, placing a hand on her shoulder to ground her. I know what it's like being on camera, so I know all the terms. Okay, God, that made me look so stupid. I'm sorry, she apologized. Don't apologize, that's fine. Now which chair? He asked with a smile. Meanwhile, the Kana fan had silently crept forwards and tapped Kana on the back of his hand. He looked from Hyoko to her and smiled. Hello, she signed shyly. Hello, you can sign, Kana signed back with a happy grin on his face. Yes, I am deaf, she replied. You are my inspiration. It's my pleasure, Kana signed in return. It is nice to be able to sign to someone. I am very happy that you are a pro hero. You give a lot of hope to us who people pity and say we cannot do the same as hearing people, but you are a hero and they cannot say that anymore. It is true, Kana returned to her and signed. We are just as able as any other person, but look at you. You are working at a well-known and respected hero newspaper. Nothing is holding you back. The girl grinned from ear to ear and tearfully returned his sign. Thank you. Because I saw you become a hero, I thought to myself, why can I not do what I want to do? So I studied hard and now I'm here working. I am proud, he signed back, smiling again. She nodded and pointed to her makeup chair. Please sit. I need to do your makeup now. Kana nodded and sat down. What's happening over there? Hyoko asked Kana through his feather that was still on Kana's shoulder. Can't see you. I miss you. Stop it. Kana signed back cheekily at Hyoko in the mirror as they were sitting on opposite sides of the set with their backs to each other. I am trying to have my makeup done. Kana's makeup artist looked at Kana, confused as to who he was signing to, and then he quickly explained to her who he was conversing with. My boyfriend can talk to me through his feather here. He pointed to the feather on his shoulder. It is like a telephone call that's always happening. The girl smiled and covered her mouth and then returned the sign. That is very adorable. I like that you can hear his voice, she signed. He has a nice voice. Kana glanced at Hyoko in the mirror, who was still watching the conversation between the two. What does his voice sound like? The girl signed as she started to apply makeup to Kana's face. It sounds medium, but warm, like melted chocolate, Kana signed, and the makeup artist nearly passed out, blushing and fanning her face as she turned away. Hiyoko had seen what Kana had signed and his cheeks dusted pink as he scratched his jaw and looked away, slightly flustered now. Kana smirked deviously 
at Hyoko's side profile, and once Hyoko had collected himself, he replied, Keep talking like that, and I'm going to have to do something about that sweet mouth of yours. Now it was Kana's turn to get flustered, looking away and rubbing his eyebrow to cover his eye from Hyoko as the winged hero chuckled internally. Oh, wow. That... I don't have any words, the makeup artist signed, oblivious to any further conversation between the two, as she had only been a part of the conversation up until the voice-like warm chocolate part. Kana smirked and looked at Hyoko before letting the girl get to his eye with the eyeliner. Once made up for the camera, the pair were ushered to the set and were met by the interviewer who would be talking to them about how they met, growing up together, and how they started dating. Hello, you two, I'm a huge fan. The man who would be conducting the interview said brightly as he strolled over, his diamante earring glistening in his right earlobe as he reached a hand out and shook both Kana and then Hyoko's hands. Now, first of all, I just want to make sure I have your preferred partner names correct. Do you prefer to be called boyfriends or partners or anything else in particular? Boyfriends is fine, Hyoko said, quickly explaining to Kana what had been said. I like boyfriend, Kana signed. We agree on boyfriend. Hyoko said to the interviewer with a smile. Fabulous, he replied. Please take a seat. We're going to be on air in five minutes, so get comfortable and then we'll start. Hyoko nodded and took Kana's hand in his, leading him up to the chairs on the set and sitting down beside him on the lounge. Ooh, interview tomorrow. I guess that I will see you all there. See you then.